I have here plugged into the curve tracer a couple of very interesting, somewhat unusual parts. They kind of look like diodes, don't they? Got this orange one here and the clear glass one. But on the curve tracer, I'm looking at the, the left one, the orange one. And let me zoom out here so you can see the curve. It's a Tektronix 576. But you can see as I turn up the voltage, the, the bias voltage, it looks like an ordinary diode. You see here's the, the reverse. It looks like it's pretty much zero current. And, and um, in the forward bias, you know, it starts going up at about 0.7 and then steady slope up around one volt or so. We're looking at 20 milliamps per division, so right up there, that's 100 milliamps. And um, it looks like an ordinary diode, maybe not a very good one at that, but ordinary diode. Here's the other one. You can see this one looks even worse, the clear glass thing on the right. But if I take off the invert function here and increase the current scale. Look at that. Looking at half a milliamp per division and you can see how the current in the reverse bias or in this case we'll call it forward bias now because um, it is actually a one milliamp current regulator or current limiter. Um, you pass, you put whatever voltage on it, doesn't matter, it'll just um, limit the current through it to one milliamp and I think it's a very useful component. I actually did use a few of these things in, in a small repair project I did. I'll link the video right here. But um, that's the, the one milliamp current regulator on the right. The little orange one is a two milliamp current regulator. And if I decrease the voltage scale, you can see how I increase the voltage and it maintains a two milliamp current. So here is what those devices actually are. Here's the, the two milliamp ones. That's, those are part number 1N5305. And the one milliamp is the 1N5297. Got a whole bunch of them in these little cardboard boxes. Here's the data sheet if the camera will focus. Current regulator diodes, got a whole series of them. There's the two that I got, but they vary anywhere from 0.22 milliamp regulation all the way up to 4.7. And these are kind of vintage parts here. I don't know if they still make them or not. I don't know if there are currently better um, parts available maybe 20 milliamp current regulator or even higher. I'm not sure, haven't done any, any research, but that's basically the schematic symbol for it. Little circle with a line on it and typical IV curve. And although this data sheet doesn't actually say it, according to Wikipedia, it looks like what's on the inside of these things is a JFET circuit with the feedback to its gate on the other end of, re of a resistor right there. And that's, that's how these things are able to regulate their current. Okay, so I decided to actually try out this JFET circuit on the curve tracer. And I'm using the, one, the 2N3823 JFET right there. So I got it going from the drain to the gate on these terminals, the gate also goes to a pot, it's a 1K pot, and the other side of the pot goes back to the source. Let me show you what it looks like here. So there it is, that's the full 1K. If I remove the resistor entirely, then you can see that um, in reverse bias here, we get a lot of current going down there, but this is the one we want to focus on up here. Right now there's zero current. Put that 1K resistance in there and you can see how it rises up a little bit and steadies off at two milliamp. And if I decrease the resistance, right there's about 500 ohm, 400 probably, or at four milliamp. 
and it just keeps on going. Up there, that's about 10 milliamp. So apparently you don't really need one of those current regulation diodes. It would be nice, I think, for some applications if you want to keep things very small and simple, but you can always use some JFETs if you have any JFET and uh, a resistance between the two terminals of the JFET, between the, the source and the gate. And then you have yourself a very nice current limiting device. And um, one application I can think of is if you want to uh, maintain a constant brightness on an LED, if it is subject to a very widely changing um, applied voltage. And I'm sure there's lots of other applications too. If you have any ideas, you can put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please give it a big thumbs up. Oh, and I just thought of this right now. One other application is you could use the current limiting device to charge a capacitor with a nice ramping voltage instead of the uh, typical um, exponential rise that you would get with a resistor. If you want to charge a capacitor at a very precise rate, then you can always use a current limiting device. And one other quick footnote, if you are dealing with AC circuits and you don't want to have any current flowing in the negative direction like this, then all you got to do is whack a diode in series with your current limiter and then you can see there's no current flowing in negative direction. You only get the positive going.